I like the cover. It's interesting. It makes me curious about it. It looks like kind of a sci-fi book. Fill in the space, an interactive book of infinite creation. It looks really pretty. Well, it's telling me to fill in the space. So instantly I want to pick up something and start drawing into it. Draw the complete opposite of a jellyfish. I don't know. I don't know. What's the opposite of jelly? Can I draw it out? Oh, I'm a horrible drawer. All right. The moment I see jellyfish, I think of peanut butter. So I would think I would draw a peanut butter fish. It's made of peanut butter. Yeah. But I guess it could eat peanut butter, but that's just wrong. The exact opposite of a jellyfish. And it is a land-dwelling creature. And it's a dinosaur. Pe no, 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 I want to call it the peanut butter delectious because it looks delicious. It's peanut butter, and I like the term peanut butter delectious. Oh, burger. Oh. <laughs> I know what I want. Since I don't eat hamburgers, I wouldn't put beef in it, obviously. But then, would you really call it a burger? I wouldn't. I would put my iPhone, I'd put my friends, I would put anything that I'd want to keep with me. I'd put, I'd put the important things in my life. I guess you could put like uh, your favorite food, like I could put a pizza or I could put, you know, pasta, but I think if I'm gonna go with what's in my burger, it's gonna be the things that are important to me. A zombie. I'm gonna prank them and say, hey, you want this burger? And I'm gonna prank them and they're gonna eat it. And then what's gonna happen to them though? Bye bye to them. The only thing that you can really do is choose who you're gonna spend your time with and the things that you do. So I think it's I think it's the ultimate of importance. It's just a measurement. I, th I think time is universal. I don't think time is something that you can really explain. Time is something and a way of keeping track. It's a foundation of a way to keep track of things from beginning to end. And that's what time is. I love my size. I've always been the tiny girl, the little girl who runs all the time, the little girl who can drink like a fish. Only eight. The first thing I love about myself is the people that are in it. But I'm not, I'm not one to really, you know, praise myself or love things about myself, which is why I think this is very difficult. I'm actually glad I'm able to find eight things about myself I like, but I don't really think too hard about it. Because without love, you really don't have much of anything else. I mean, without love, really, what is there? My intelligence. I don't care what time of gizmo they use, it will not work. I will keep that. Oh, why did you give me this one? You, and you can't take away what makes me happy? Because you might be able to take away the physical thing that makes me happy, but a lot of things make me happy. You can't take away my happiness. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> um, I really am, oh my God. I'm very close with my grandmother and <laughs> I know she's 95, so eventually I'm gonna have to let go of that. But um, when I saw what are the three things no one can take away from you, the first thing I thought was my relationship with my grandma. You know, it's, it's kind of strange because you never know based upon the mood you're in. I mean, if I was in a real depressing mood today, I might have answered these totally different. So it's always so strange. And, you know, and I realize that as I'm going through these. But uh, caught me in a good mood. Hungry, but good mood. <laughs>